What is going on YouTube? This is AJ Pay bringing you another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. This one's against Drekto and it's an OU match and this was one of my first OU matches ever so you're gonna see many mistakes made by me but at the same time you're gonna see many mistakes made by my opponent as well and looking at my team I have a throw the only NU poke out of all these OU pokes in, in this um, match and this team is mainly around throw Basically, Skarmory and um, I believe Tenderkool are supporters to support Throw with Circle Throw. And then once every once Throw dies, and then um, everything else is like kind of weakened. Gengar, Choice Scarf, Terrakion, and Choice Bandit Scissor are there just to clean up. So that's their jobs. So and this is an interesting battle as well. So let's just go ahead and begin the battle. So I'm gonna lead off with my Gengar and he's gonna lead off with Polytoad just to set up the rain. I don't know what I was thinking here in the beginning. I'm assuming I was thinking I could take this thing out with a Thunderbolt. Then I probably realized a Thunderbolt wouldn't take it out one hit and he is rain boosted right now with the water moves that he has and that'll probably take me out one hit. So I'm gonna switch out to my special defensive wall, Tender Cruel. This is my fully special defensive. Max special defense, max HP, and 4 in special attack, so it can't really attack but it can wall for days. He does get a burn on his Scald, which really sucks as a wall because now I'm taking residual damage. But he's going to switch out to his own Tentacruel to wall my Tentacruel because Tentacruel walls Tentacruel. And that burn is really ruining my Tentacruel's wallish abilities. I think I'm making Wallace a move, um, not a move, a word now, which is really stupid, but um, gonna go for the Scald, I do get the burn, and he has the rain dish ability, and I don't, I carry a Liquid Ooze, and Liquid Ooze is really con uh, good when it's convenient, when it actually happens, but rain dish is more often to happen, because rain is more predominant in OU, mainly weather is more predominant in OU, so that's what I should really carry on, probably gonna change that later. But that was just us basically scalding and he went for Toxic Spikes and I go for the Rapid Spin as he switches into Gliscor which is really a ballsy play of him because I could have predicted that I went for his Scald but then again Scald probably would have took him out anyway so pretty good move on his part but I get the Toxic Spikes away so now nothing will be poison on my team. I'm gonna switch into Skarm now just because I'm immune to his Earthquake. He can't really do anything to me either and he doesn't. He shows that he doesn't carry Toxic Orb. So he's probably the Swords Dance Acrobatic set. So I know he's going to switch out because he can't do t anything to me. And I'm going to set up myself Fox for free. And he switches into Jirachi. And I'm fearing the Thunder. So going to switch out to Tentacruel. And Tentacruel's main job really was the Toxic stuff. So that way throw to set up Throw mainly. To help Throw out. But its main job is also to be a special defensive wall. Look how well I take that Thunder. But I do have a burn on me which basically ruins my Wallish abilities. So I'm going to go for a Scald because I want to get the residual damage off this Jirachi. I really want to get that burn on this thing because if I don't, then this thing's going to be a pain to take out because it's obviously going to get a Wish up and then protect and then get all of its health back as he went for an Iron Head for some reason, not really sure. So it gives me a second chance to hopefully get the burn on him. I don't get that burn which really sucks and he's basically just going to get his health back. So Tentacruel didn't really get it, his job done. He did rapid spin away to Toxic Spike, so he did something. So maybe next time Tentacruel can do something. So now goes my Tentacruel. Now, for some reason, I don't know why I switched his Choice Scarf Terrakion, because I was thinking maybe he doesn't have Protect. I was. I don't know, maybe that's what I was thinking? I don't know, because this is one of my first games I ever played. But I'm um, gonna go for a close combat. He protects, and yeah. Nothing really happened. I don't know what I'm thinking here, but um, I'm fearing the Iron Head now, so I know Throw can take any hit this thing's gonna go for, and he does go for the Iron Head, and I take that like a champ, even though I'm actually max special defensive, and Throw, let me tell you, is underrated. It has an amazing bulk, and look how well I take this Thunder. I take it amazingly well, just because I'm special defensive and the natural bulk, but I do get pair hacks, which sucks. But um, paralyzation doesn't really matter because throw, well, it's slow and fat. But also, my main attack is circle throw, which is negative priority. So, and circle throw is basically a fighting type dragon tail. So it just attacks and phases things out. And I phase his bronze song out to this Gliscor, which is the only threat to my throw. 
And you'll see that later another poke of his is a threat to throw. Well, not really a threat, but threatens me out. Because I'm fearing the acrobatics, so I'm going to switch out to Skarm again. Because Skarm is... Well, completely walls this thing. He can't do anything to me. Once again, I know he's going to switch out because he can't do anything to me. And he's going to switch to Jirachi. And this gives me a perfect opportunity to now set up my spikes. And I'm going to keep this Skarm alive as long as possible until I can set up all my spikes just to help throw and it's circle throwing because I want to circle throw stuff out and in on the hazards so I get damage off on one poke and get damage off on the other as it comes in. I'm predicting the thunder now and I'm going to go into throw and I take that like a champ and at this point I think I'm fearing that he might have a psychic move still. I'm not really sure what I was thinking here because this was like three months ago, four months ago, one of my first games. I already mentioned that plenty of times. But I do get a crit here. And look how much that did. That was really good. But going back on throw being underrated, I'm pretty sure he's only underrated only because his move pool is really not that great. His only good stats are circle throw and storm throw. And storm throw isn't really that great. And circle throw gives you negative priority like I said before. Other than that, if he had close combat, he'd be great. He's gonna go for a Scald, and this Paralyzation works in my favor now because he can't burn me with the Scald and cut my attack. So I'm gonna go for a rest now. That's why the Paralyzation and any status in general doesn't really matter to me because I do have rest. And I'm just gonna heal that off. And I'm looking at his team and nothing can really hurt me except for the Jirachi if it has a Psychic move. Um, which so far has shown has not. Bliss score probably has Acrobatic, so it really threatens me. And as you see right here, this Politoed actually does carry Parasong, so I can't stay in here now. But he should have done that earlier instead of Skull, because now I can just wake up and then switch out when Paras right when Parasong's about to kill me. So Parasong will kill me before I wake up. So that's what's happening right now. There's a lot of acid turn effects. That's why this game was pretty long too. He goes for a Toxic for some reason. Not really sure what he's thinking there. He could have just went for a Skull, and I do circle throw him out to his Jirachi, which is Jirachi's almost dead. And now what I should have done was circle throw him. I don't know what I was thinking here. Maybe I was figuring the Psychic move, but then again, I do switch into Gengar, which is weak to Psychic as well. What am I thinking? What am I doing? <laughs> As he's gonna go for a wish, and then he's gonna. I know he's gonna go for a protect now. So that's why this time I'm just going to set up a sub. Because I know that I can get a free sub up. Which is what I'll do. And I really. I think I was really believing that uh, Gengar is the best thing to take out this Jirachi. So I'm hoping Life Orb Shadow Ball is gonna do a lot to a uh, fully special defensive Jirachi, which I'm assuming this is, because it's that's the moveset that it has right now. And that does more than half so it's a 2 hit KO very nice he's gonna easily break my sub because you know Gengars have very frail defense a lot of things really have frail defenses um yeah he's gonna switch out now he's gonna go into his Ferrothorn predicting my shadow ball which is probably what I'm but this is yeah that's what I go for and I don't carry hidden power of fire like most Gengars do because I carry hidden power of ice and hidden power of ice usually catches people off guard and Gengar is faster than most dragon types in this game, so it's very nice to have. But um, in this case, I should have had a Hidden Power Fire, but you know, I run into more situations where I need Hidden Power Ice. Gonna switch into Skarm because I know this is a perfect opportunity for Skarm to basically set up all the spikes, as I don't really care about the Leaf Seed, and I'm just gonna set up spikes. And I don't really care if he sets up spikes either, because the moment I get all my hazards up, throw is gonna be in there to stay until either Gliscor or Politoed comes in. One of the two, but point is, those hazards don't really matter to me anymore. Gonna go on the throw now, because I have finished setting up all my hazards. Throw is ready to throw stuff in and out. Throw is ready to destroy and wreck. And he's gonna set up, I believe that was his third layer of spikes. Not really sure if that was or not. And he's gonna switch into Gliscor now, and what he should have done was just stayed in or switch into something else because he it was pretty obvious I'm gonna go for a circle throw at this point because he hasn't seen my fourth move yet as you'll see later well pretty soon I guess as Bronzong is circle thrown in here and now I believe this is the perfect opportunity for me to set up bulk ups because you know a strong circle throw is even better and then also my defense as well so I get to stay in longer I can wall stuff anything basically as this is basically him trying to kill me with earthquakes, he toxic me, and this is me trying to bulk up. 
And now I believe I predict this switch into Tentacruel so that way he can rapid spin. Because Tentacruel is faster than me, naturally faster than me. And I'm just gonna circle throw that and take that thing out with I believe a plus three bulk up. So yeah, down goes the Tentacruel and there's after turn effects. And here comes Polytoad now. And I have to rest here as he tries to go for a skull to try to take me on hopes for we get a crit, but he doesn't. And I get my rest up, so I'm basically back up to full again. And he gets a Parish Song off, so now I probably can wake up again, I believe. I believe he Parish Song one turn after he put me, after I put myself to sleep. But yeah, I circle throw him out. I circle throw and take that Polytoad out with the plus three. So now one thing can only phase me out, which is the Gliscor and the Strachi if it had a second move. But at this point, I believe I know he does. I guess not, because I switched it to Scar <laughs> just to die from thunder or something. I don't know. But, um, yeah, at this point, I should know by now that he doesn't have a psychic move. I mean, look, he, he sh he's not doing any of those. He's showed me his four moves, for Christ's sake. What am I doing? I guess I'm death firing Skarm, because Skarm did its job. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what I was thinking there, but whatever. Skarm is dead. That's the point. Skarm's dead. But uh, it, now I'm gonna switch into Choice Scarf Terrakion. Uh, I think that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to give a free switch in for Choice Scarf Terrakion. But yeah, here comes Choice Scarf Terrakion. And I know a close combat's gonna take it out from this range easily. So just gonna go for the close combat. And down goes Drachi. He could have switched into Gliscor there, but um, maybe close combat might have been to a KO from that range. Not really sure. But either way, down goes that um, Drachi. Now here comes Bronzong. I'm really fearing the Dryer Ball because not only is it super effective to me, I'm also Scarfed and then, you know, Scarf makes me faster and Dryer Ball's power is increased depending on how much faster the opposing Pokemon is to you. So that would have done a shit ton if he had Dryer Ball, but apparently he doesn't. He goes for Earthquake. So Dryer Ball would have done way less than that, but he goes for, but the Earthquake didn't do a lot either way so it didn't matter and I'm able to get a rest up and I'm back up to full again I believe that's like the second third time as he went for a toxic not really sure what he's thinking there and then he goes for hidden power again I don't know what his hidden power is but I don't know why he's going for it at this point he's just switch out the Glisco which he's gonna do now and I'm asleep at this point I'm just like all right I'm just gonna stay in here cuz I'm thinking you don't have acrobatics at this point even though he probably does I'm just being really stupid but it then again, he just goes for Earthquake, so it looks like he really doesn't. Not really sure. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna circle throw that thing out. I do believe I had another poke just to take care of that Gliscor just in case, so. I believe I might have had Gengar still. Not sure. But I circle throw him out to Ferrothorn, and Ferrothorn isn't really a big threat to throw at this point. It's just the Iron Barb's damage would be really annoying to me, but. I just want to get rid of everything at this point and he's gonna power whip me and this actually does a lot I guess cuz throw is fat but throw doesn't honestly seem that heavy cuz he's short well he does look short at least but um, I do get a crit which probably did matter but either way that just quickens up the game for me so I am completely fine with that and now he goes Bronzong, and at this point, I believe I just rest, and then I am going to try to bulk up again. I think I'm just trying to wake up at this point. Yeah, I'm just trying to wake up. As I do wake up right now, and I'm going to circle throw him out to his Gliscor, and Gliscor is almost at the point where once he switches in, rocks are going to die, but if I hit one more circle throw, it will. As he does get a quit with the Earthquake, doesn't kill me luckily, and now he's at that point where if Gliscor switches in again, or gets circle thrown back in, it's gonna die from rocks. So either way, Gliscor is gone. I don't have to worry about Gliscor anymore, because apparently it doesn't care about acrobatics. As I do go for a rest again, this is basically a repeated process. And he could have ran at this point, but I guess he doesn't want to. But either way, that's basically the game. I guess I'll just do my outro here. I guess you guys didn't get to see Scizor, but yeah. Anyways, really sorry that this upload is late. Uh, social life and work have been a really big damper to my upload times and consistency, but I'll try to fix that. And I'm gonna try to battle board today. 
I didn't battle for a week and a half, but I'm gonna try to battle today. So I'll be in the smog and battle finder if I actually do battle today, because I do have a lot of stuff to do today as well. And to those that I promised I would battle, I'll probably battle you guys possibly today or tomorrow or s sometime soon is the point. And I believe that's about it for me. Um, like if you like, comment if you like, and subscribe if you like, and I'll see you guys later.